Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Christina and I post videos about books, family life and whatever else I feel like posting about. Uh, I'm, I am consistently inconsistent when it comes to what I post and when I post. So the honest truth right there. But today we're gonna do something that I haven't done in quite a while and that is a book haul. I have not bought that many books over the last year to be honest except for books for school because I am now a full-time graphic design student. Thank you Simba for choosing this moment to play around like a crazy kitten. Every time, every time. Just try to ignore uh, the noise in the background. He's just going crazy over a scratched up piece of paper, uh, which is his favorite toy, always. Like if I need to distract him with something to play with, scrunching up a piece of paper, best thing ever. But anyways, let's get into the few books that I have gotten lately. Also one of the reasons why I haven't gotten as many books over the last year is that I've been mainly listening to audiobooks on different audiobook apps uh, and I've been reading ebooks on either my iPad or my phone. So that is why I don't really have that many new physical books but I'm going to show you the ones that I have. So for my birthday in November I went into town and I got myself three books. It was Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. I think everyone has seen this book by now. It's been going around booktube and bookstagram for a while and it is gorgeous. I love the design. I love uh, the synopsis of it. About it being about an orc who is giving up her barbarian life to open up a coffee shop in this town uh, and just trying to slow down and start a new life. I am buddy reading this with my best friend and I've just about started it but I'm really liking it so far. I haven't really read high fantasy for a while so this is kind of a fun uh, trip, nostalgic trip for me. It's been mostly like non-fiction and thrillers romance and smut lately or erotica so to have something being more high fantasy I love it. The second book that I got for myself for my birthday is Notes on Heartbreak by Annie Lord. Uh, I just thought this looked and sounded interesting. Uh, it's told that this is a love story told in reverse. It's about the best and worst of love, the euphoric and the painful, the beautiful and the messy. So this is a non-fiction book where Annie Lord goes through uh, her experiences with love and heartbreak and I am very curious uh, as to how it's gonna be. There are great blurbs on here so I'm excited to get to this one. I think this one is gonna be slightly hard to read but also very interesting. And the third book that I got for myself was Five Days in Winter by Lily King. So I read Writers and Lovers by Lily King. It is way up on top over the bookshelf so I can't reach it at the moment but I really love that story. And this is a collection of five shorter stories. It says a reclusive bookseller begins to feel the discomfort of love again. A widow whisks her daughter away for a holiday she can barely afford, desperate to help the two of them grieve. A neglected teen age boy finds much needed nurturing from an unlikely pair of college students. A proud man rages helplessly at his granddaughter's hospital bedside. A writer receives a visit from all of the men who have tried to suppress her voice. These romantic but brutally raw stories explore desire, heartache, moments of shocking cruelty. This profoundly tender collection confirms Lily King as one of our most accomplished and beloved chroniclers of the human heart. I just thought this sounded like a really good collection of stories and it is winter. It is seriously winter here where I am in Norway right now. We have way over a meter of snow. If I were to walk out in our yard right now, I would have snow probably up to here. Uh, and uh, I've heard rumors that we're getting more soon. So winter stories sounds fitting right now even though I might switch over to summer stories soon just because I wanna forget that it's so cold and try to dream away to warmer times. 
Let's continue. There's also this book that I got for my daughters in December and that is the illustrated version of the Christmas source. This obviously is the Norwegian version of it but I just love the story of the Christmas source. Uh, I read it a few years ago, absolutely fell in love. I haven't read the second one yet and I really need to do that but I really want to read this story for my girls. We tried reading it a little bit this Christmas but they don't really have the full attention span for this entire book yet. So I'm hoping that next year this will be a winner with our oldest daughter. Then another book that I bought that I can't remember exactly when I got it. I just remember that I saw it uh, and immediately had to have it. And that is the Caillou Preservation Society by John Scalzi. I have already read this. I would talk about it in a wrap up soon. It says, they're big, they're bad, but they're about to be extinct. Jamie's dream was to hit the big time at a tech startup. Jamie's reality is a humiliating layoff, then a low wage job delivering takeout. Things look beyond grim until a chance delivery to an old acquaintance. Tom has a vacancy on his team. The pay is great and Jamie has debts. It's an easy choice to make. But Tom's animal rights organization is way more than it seems. In an alternate dimension, massive dinosaur-like creatures roam a tropical world, but they need support to survive, and the Caillou Preservation Society wants to help. However, others want to profit. Unless they're stopped, the walls between worlds could fall and millions could die. So this is a sci-fi novel. It's about alternate dimension, it's about Caillou's, and it's great. I will talk about it later uh, in a wrap-up of sorts coming soon, but I, I highly recommend it. it, it it's good. It's so good. John Scalzi is an amazing writer. Now the next book. <laughs> it is a book that I bought for my Exploring Erotic project. It is um, the cover I, I don't even know. I have mentioned Katie Robert in my Exploring Erotica project. She has written the Dark Olympus series, which is fantastic. And she is quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, writers when it comes to romance and erotica. I started looking for other pieces of work that she has done, came across this one, and I was intrigued. <laughs> But I don't know how I feel about it. I have not read it yet. I, uh, I asked on Instagram how people felt about this cover. And I think most of us agreed that it's, uh, it's hilarious and they love it. Or I had a message saying, where was the option for it's so bad that it's good? Which I think is the best way to describe it. But here is the book. <laughs> It is The Dragon's Bride by Katie Robert. Uh, this is giving me all of the feels. Do you remember those uh, smut novels that used to be uh, in uh, like the grocery stores that all the stay at home moms used to buy? I remember we had lots of them in the store that I used to work in when I was about 18. Uh, and we uh, had so much fun going through looking at all of the awful covers. But this reminds me of that, just with a dragon. And I, I can't... It's so bad that it's good. So let's hope that the story is just as bad that it's good or just as good. So it says, Bri Rose might have a name out of a storybook, but she learned at a very young age that no prince was coming to save her. She'll have to save herself. Unfortunately, even that is an impossible task in her current situation. Trapped in a terrifying marriage to a dangerous man, desperate times call for desperate measures, which is how she finds herself making a deal with a demon. Freedom from her husband in return for seven years of service. She expects the service to be back-breaking and harsh. She doesn't expect to be put on an auction block in a room full of literal monsters and sold to the highest bidder, to Sol, a dragon. He might seem kinder than his fearsome looks imply, but she knows better than to trust the way he wants to take care of her or how invested he is in her pleasure. In her experience, if something seems too good to be true, it certainly is. Falling for Saul is out of the question. She's suffered enough and she has no intention of staying in this realm, even if she leaves her heart behind when she returns to her normal life. It is quite a short book, uh, so I'm very curious to see how she's going to pack all of this into this book, but I'm excited. I'm intrigued, 
a little worried, um, nervous, and excited about this one. But I will be talking more about this and several other books that I've been reading in my next Exploring Erotica episode that's going to come really soon. And the last book that I've gotten myself lately, it's this one. It's Chilling Effect by Valerie Valdez. Uh, I have not really read that much about this book yet. What sold me was this part right here. Kidnappers, alien emperors, psychic cats, and she's out of coffee. And then the cover. I mean, look at that cover. Pretty much all I know is that part and that it's a space opera and I'm excited. It's a bit of a chunker, not too much though. So I'm hoping that I can get to this soon, but I have to say like, being a full-time student, running my own business, trying to be the best mom and the best girlfriend that I can be, it, it's a tough job and it's a hard balance to make, but I'm doing my best and hopefully I can uh, read more in the near future. I might check if some of these books are available as audiobooks as well, because it's just easier for me to read, read books uh, when I listen to them, because then I can work at the same time, so kind of a bit of a multitasking thing there. But yeah, should we do the stack? We haven't done like holding up a book stack in a really long while. So there you have it. Those are some of the books that I have accumulated over the last six months or so. Um, not that many, but I'm really happy about all of them and very excited to get the ones that I haven't yet. I will link all of these books in the description down below, as well as my socials, if you want to follow along and get to know me a little better. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in another video soon. Goodbye!